I got into infantry and I really loved it. I was in battle. Probably the, the hottest situation um, was the capturing of Noriega in Panama. The Marines went in, we were fire support, and it was just brutal. Nine men lost that day. It's something that you don't want to witness. It, it's just, it's horrible. That is part of my post-traumatic stress. When I was seven, I had a very traumatic incident happen to me. Me and my sister actually in a restaurant down off DeSoto Avenue in LA, California. My dad was a mob investigator for the LA County Sheriff's Department. And my mom worked as a secretary for Litton Industries. My mom and my dad had been separated, partially because my father had a bad pill and alcohol problem. So we got together to kind of discuss the divorce and also me and my sister have birthdays that are close so we figured we'd celebrate me and my sister's birthday and my parents would talk about the divorce so we got together in this restaurant. When my dad got off duty, popped a bunch of pills, met us at the restaurant, um, an argument ensued. He stood up, no hesitation, pulled out his service revolver stuck it right on her forehead, and that was the last anybody was to see of her head. Her head ended up all over me and my sister. Um, the body just basically collapsed on me, and I just went empty. I was like a balloon, I deflated. My post-traumatic stress is horrible. I, I have had a horrible life. The saving factor was that I found pot. It saved me, saved my life. My nightmares were gone. I had no recollection of any vivid details of a lot of the horrible trauma I've suffered in my life. And it wasn't brain surgery, I knew it was the pot. You go off your medicine for a year, you're gonna have some serious complications. And there was from me going off it a year. It was all of a sudden I'm off my post-traumatic stress medicine and I totally went depressive. I totally went in the shell. I totally wanted to not be a living entity on this earth. I got consumed that much. I like those choices that California gives me. That I'm able to take the medicine I want to take. It's totally an incredible feeling to go to a pharmacy that prescribes marijuana to a patient for what ails you. Good afternoon. Hi, how are you doing Good, how are you doing? They aren't pharmacies as most people know them. They're basically a pharmacy that just deals in marijuana products, i.e. hash, hash oil, edibles, and smokables. How you doing? Good, the one that I prefer to go, which is Horta Farm in Santa Barbara, California, is very professionally ran. It's the Starbucks of the marijuana pharmacies. Uh, you're looking for indicas, right? For your... I'd like to look for something, uh, maybe a sativa for in the morning oh, okay. to get me going, uh, a little bit of an up uh, energy. Well, I'll tell you what, for sativas right now, what I'm using you know, during the day to kind of stay a little bit more clear-headed is this uh, Super Silver Haze. And that's a uh, dominant sativa? Yeah, that's an uh, sativa dominant hybrid. Oh, very nice. Very fragrant with a little bit of a fruit. And this is Ooh, a pretty good This is very, very the uh, People are starting to see more and more how effective and viable cannabis is as a treatment option for their various illnesses. I think that a lot of dispensaries are going to be popping up all over the country. Well, I would like to try a little of the Bubba Kush okay. uh, for the evening and uh, I think I'd prefer like a little of the Super Silver Haze for the morning. Okay, great. The EA doesn't like these word dispensaries uh, and, and but for for whatever that's the word that's attached to it but the fact of the matter is they're marijuana they're marijuana distribution centers it's essentially what they are and they're public all nuisance all right josh thank you sir hey. what right. we've been able to determine in our dispensary thank investigations you. these are not people coming out in wheelchairs on crutches 
These are not people that that meet the you know the dying, the sick, and the injured. Those are not the type of individuals that are going into dispensaries and that are coming out of dispensaries with the marijuana.